What's up, MMA fans? Today we are catching up again with Master Rafael Cordeiro, two-time coach of the uh, coach of the year. Hey. It's a pleasure to have you here again, Master. What's up, Marcelo? It's always a pleasure talking to you, my brother. Yeah, let's go. Let's talk about Mike Tyson. Everybody wants to know details about that fight. Uh, Rafael, how long are Mike Tyson dealing to make that fight with Jake Paul? That, that was amazing. Netflix, live, something we never saw before. We, we are super excited with the with the news. So I'm on my way, to be honest with you. I'm going to finish the interview with you. And then I'm on my way to Arizona. I'm going to meet with all team there. I'm really excited with the news. So I'm looking forward to see this fight. You asked me about how long they have worked on the, the, the terms. I believe for a long, long time. As soon as Mike finishes fight against Roy, they start some conversation. And now they have a deal. So July 21st is going to be amazing in Dallas. So the Dallas Stadium, something huge, something UFC going to do soon, some show that as well. So it's going to be huge on Netflix for free, myself. I'm really excited to be next Mike, no more better. Uh, do you have more details about the rules that you can tell us about? How, how, what about the ounce of the glove, uh, the rounds, how many rounds going to be? Is it going to be a real fight or, or exhibition fight? Everything. What, what do you know about Rafael? I don't know yet about the rules, but I can guarantee it's going to be 100%. There's no exhibition. It's going to be fight. So Jake trained to fight as my train to kill him. So it's going to be like a, it's going to be a war, is what I believe. I don't know how, can I, what, for example, about gloves, about how size gloves, how many rounds. But it's gonna be a fight. We are excited. Mike just back in camp. He's in shape. He's in really good shape. And I believe it's gonna be great to see the young generation against the old generation. Uh, we can see he's in a good shape. How long is this video made? Was the, was this video made? Two times ago. This is a couple months ago. And I, as you can see, he explosions there. He reacts very very fast, better than a lot of kids with 20 years. To be honest with you, I have a pleasure to train a lot of people in my career but see mike going do see mike work every single day a few months kids this guy has there has no 20 57 years old it's just a a guy with the same dream when he has 15 14 years 14 15 years old when he when he was living in new york living the dream to be one day world champ it's the same feeling that i have see him train today so same kid come from the brooklyn and uh make what he make inside the world, inside the boxing world. Rafael, 27 years old, again, 57 years old, 30 years of difference, age difference. Uh, of course, Jake Paul is going to use the distance to avoid Mike Tyson knockout power. Uh, how do you see the fight going? What do you expect from Jake Paul and what Mike Tyson can bring maybe to decide that fight? So in the paper, everything is beautiful, but sometimes the reality come and crash the fantasy. <laughs> if the paper is one thing, but as soon as you step inside the ring with the legend like Mike Tyson, as soon as he's looking in your eyes, it's different. So everything that you have to say about him when you go there, it'll become like a, man, it's gonna be a war. You know you're gonna fight somebody two times world champ, Somebody that have his own style to move forward. Somebody that fought against the toughest heavyweights in the world. Somebody with his history. Somebody he never back up. Somebody they always move forward. Let's see how Jake will react. Have somebody put pressure over him, make him moving backwards. Uh, and uh, how do you see Jake as a boxer comparing the last fights against Fury, against uh, Anderson Silva, against Woodley twice? How do you see him as a boxer? You think he's a YouTuber or he's already a, a legitimate fight? He's a legitimate fight. His history talk for for itself. As you can see, he fought against well, former former world champs. Oh, but the guys are older than him. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You can't call this kid YouTuber anymore. He know how to box him. He has speed decision against Tom Fury. He show his skills. 
And uh, he gonna fight against somebody, then no box as well. And I'm gonna put pressure over him. I'm gonna put a lot, a lot of pressure over him, over him. And this is what we expect this fight. So it's gonna be two boxers fighting. And let's see what happens. What do you expect from that fight? At least might bait his ear. Bite his ear. <laughs> <laughs> Cut his head off or gonna bite his ear. 100%. <laughs> <laughs> I expect a good fight. Jokes aside, I expect a great fight. With all respect, the kid deserves respect. Outside of, outside the ring, you're gonna say whatever you say. But inside the ring, we, we respect him as a fighter. He put his name there. A lot of people back up to do with Mike, but he put his name there, so he deserves respect. It's gonna be something, but it's gonna be a, one amazing day for all the martial arts fans, for the, like you said, for judo guys, for the taekwondo guys, for all generation of fighters. The martial arts is gonna to stop to watch this fight. Because when you see Mike Tyson inside the octagon, outside the ring, you're gonna see a guy there with uh, the same desire, you know, when he had, when he fought for the world champ the first time. So I expect, I expect a great fight. I expect something that uh, gonna be history. This is gonna put our name there in the history, and I'm excited to be next Mike on one more mission. Rafael, you fought the most, uh, the toughest and most violent and bloody Vale Tudo event ever. I was there covering the IVC AIDS. In you, you did one against Mata Morros. Uh, was uh, I can see your, <laughs> can see your face. <laughs> Look at this, and you got the belt fighting without gloves, without rules. How do you see the sport going now with like game bread events and, and, and events like that? Uh, what is your evaluation about that? So we went there with Fabrice. Fabrice fought against Sigan. was one of the amazing fight. Two great champs they fought there. It was like a, for me, I watched the fight. I see the fights that you put there, and I look like a man. This is this was crazy back in the days, and uh, for me, still crazy. <laughs> no fights with no rules, but thanks Lord, we got evolution in sport. I'm not a big fan of bare knuckle. To be honest with you, I'm not a big fan. But today, when, when you got old, Marcel, <laughs> when you got old. You start thinking a little bit more. How can you make this more? How can we make the sport better and better? So let's put a little bit more rules. Because at the end of the day, I want to see these guys living a little bit more. So no, I want to see these guys living no a couple more years. I want to see the guys living a few more decades. So this is what I'm looking for to see. And sometimes the sport, when you remove some rules for the fighter, mm, I look like a. Uh, Okay, if we put some rules, he can fight three, four times a year. But if you take the rules, you're gonna fight one, two, depend how everything goes. So my vision today is I put as much as I can rules to make my fighters and see some fighters fight a little bit more instead of fighting one, two times a year because the angels they fight. Because you have to train to fight bare No, they're gonna do sparring with Jim bare knuckle, but uh, he has a lot of damage in your body when you have this kind of training. And um, you have to fight sometimes 15 minutes. You can create something then uh, when I take a long, long time to recover. So this is my view. I have nothing against. Uh, I watch, but it's nothing then I appreciate much. Rafael, uh, talking about back in the days, uh, I can imagine how moved you were when Vanderlei was inducted to the Hall of Fame a few weeks ago. Tell us why the new generation, I saw some new journalists, like 32, 34 years old guys that didn't saw Pride era saying, who, who is this guy? He, I just saw this guy losing in the UFC and things like that. I said, man, you have no idea what you're talking about. Please tell those guys the meaning of Vanderlei Silva in the Hall of Fame of UFC. Can you imagine for me, Marcel, see this guy uh, receiving this award? And uh, I was there, it was uh, UFC 298 in Anaheim, close to my house. I said, I'm going there. I didn't know about it, but I feel something was going to happen. 
And I saw my my brother, a guy that I call brother, receive the award for me. It was my history there. So I saw him receive, but I saw the history that put him there. What's the history behind the Hall of Fame? It's the history about his team. The people was behind of him. The the what Vanderlei represent, not just for 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 us now, but uh, for our city, for our state, for our country. We see how respectful, how respectful. I like this picture very much. You're looking to him on 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 the before the final of Pride Grand Prix. I went to the uh, locker wow. room and 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 you were. Uh, recovering Vanderlei to face Quinton Hanpei Jackson. This fight is amazing. This is history, Marcel. This is all oh, look amazing picture. Yeah. And Vanderlei draw all the good qualities to have the Hall of Fame. He represents all the best that we have. So he represents us inside the ring with his bravery, with his techniques, with his spirit. When he was there, he was representing a group, a close group that put a lot of faith on him. And today we have, we can call, we have one Hall of Fame. And uh, for us as a team, as a coach, as a brother, so this this is the the validation. Look, sometimes we look for validation, but it's, we don't have to, but have that kind of validation from UFC make a lot of difference at the end of the day. So we have the label from UFC, the Mandalay is the Hall of Fame. For us, is the, the best, best feeling that we can have. Well deserved. He did everything that he could to put his name there. He fought against the toughest guys, guys in the world. He win, but he lost. And then he win again. Which means he still was still fighting. It doesn't matter the results. 40, 40 days fighting pride. You, Marcelo, you know our, our you know all our history. You are there. You saw. You see things that uh, people never yeah, you saw things that inside locked room. That's that picture that you post there. And uh, you saw a guy ready to put a war, ready because he knows it was not have, have, have weight over his shoulder because he knew how to fight. He had a pleasure to be there. You know, now I'm going to do what I have to do, what I was trained for. And this guy should be Hall of Fame. And as a coach, I have to see Vanderlei, I have to see Mauricio Shogunru, Anderson Silva, guys, and I have a pleasure to train. And today they are all Hall of Fame. Can you imagine for me as a coach, former coach, for those guys, see they, you know, people recognize them as a legend. Is a make your job like I did what I have to, I did was supposed to do to make these guys, put these guys on the top. Congratulations, well deserved for sure. And Rafael, uh, to finish, tell us about uh, your fighters agenda, Kings MMA fighters agenda. You have in the following months besides Mike Tyson, you have some guys doing uh, UFC fights, and and also if you can tell American fans about uh, uh, Kings MMA all over USA. So I'm super excited for the future. We have a Neyman fighting uh, April 19 in Chicago against Yamamushi. It's going to be a rematch. Uh, Giga soon will announce his next opponent. Benny, we hold it to be Benny. He had last year a uh, tough year, you know, it's just inside the UFC, but outside in train. We have some TKOs, some KOs inside the gym, and we have fight against Charles, TKO, and then we have our man, KO. So for now, I want to preserve Benny a little bit more. I want to take care about him for a while and uh, take our time. He's training every single day, but uh, I think. A little bit more time out is going to be good for him for his health. I want to see Benny fighting for a long, long time. I don't want to rush with his career. He came from in 10 fights, he, he won eight and lost two. People just remember, or often just remember, just remind his last two fights. But Benny came from eight victories and lost just two. So in 10, he lost two. So I have to preserve this kid. He's a kid that I love. That my, he's my number one command. And I look forward to see fighting again. But for now, this is what we have. Urush is a kid that I have one seven division, tough kid, amazing kid, striker. Soon he will be back. And for now, that's it, Marcel. I think that's it. What about Kings all over USA? Do you have uh, another uh, branches or uh, only the, the the people want to train to you must go to Huntington Beach, the headquarters? 
He still had quarters in Huntington Beach where everybody trained and teach there morning to and Monday to Friday. People, well, you teach in the GCS, yes, they teach for regular people as well. It's my pleasure to train professionals and beginners. So a lot of people go there and train with me, which means it's also have that kind of connection. You see a lot of kids start from beginners class and become fighters. This is something that I love to do. Like the Dependernators in Brazil. Take the kids from the, the base and the kids become champ. So this is what we do as a coach. And in my States, we thank God we have four gyms over here. We're gonna open another one. Ben is gonna be gonna open another one, huge one in the high. So he's closing his own gym, it was so small. Now he takes some big warehouse. I'm excited to see this gym as well. We have in Austin, El Paso. And if you, in the future, we're gonna open another one in, in Vegas. We have a, um, uh, somebody offer a deal for us in Vegas, in Texas. It's gonna be our second gym there. So I'm really excited about it. But a lot of good things. Things that we turned 15 years, Kings and me 15 years a few months ago. And uh, the, you saw since the beginning our evolution from, from a small place to now with a lot of gyms all over the world. So God is great. Man. Thanks a lot, Rafael. Go, please. You have to meet Mike Tyson. Go ahead. Thanks for having us. It was a pleasure. Thank you, Marcel. It's always a pleasure to talk with you. You're a legend, my brother. Yeah, you are a legend. Thanks a lot, my friend. Go Thank ahead. You. <laughs>